Good morning, Quadcopter101 here with another review of the WL Toys V686G FPV Quadcopter. Um, I had been doing a little bit of uh, practicing with the, or demonstrating, testing the headless mode and the flyback feature of this quadcopter and there was some issues with it uh, I was noticing some wobbling I that's why I, I didn't uh, publish that video yet because I think the calibration needs to be uh, on the for the headless motor of the gyros the x-axis and the y-axis gyros need to be recalibrated uh, this can occur in shipping it gets jostled around a lot or in a hard crash you might need to recalibrate these uh, the gyros too the thing is the instructions manual to show how to calibrate that are are just awful as usual so the objective of today's video i'm going to show you how to calibrate the headless mode the C, they call it the cf mode on this quadcopter we're going to calibrate the x-axis and the y-axis uh, gyros and this is different than uh, initializing um, calibration where you lay it motionless on the ground and and it level it figures out what the level uh, position is this is a lot different we're going to actually do some turning of the quadcopter to calibrate a specific gyro um, we're going to calibrate the x-axis gyro and by the way the x-axis is longitudinal to the quadcopter and we're also going to calibrate the y-axis uh, gyro and the y-axis gyro is goes lateral to the quadcopter I'm sorry so x-axis lengthwise and y-axis widthwise and to calibrate it there's a button that we press on the transmitter I'll show you shortly and then we have to turn a quadcopter about that axis do several rotations about that axis um, to calibrate the x-axis and again do several rotations around the y-axis to calibrate that axis now to do it this way the way I'm showing you by hand um, there's a lot of jerking around of the quadcopter and that's not a good way to do it but a simple way to do it say if we want to calibrate the x-axis oh a simple way to do it is just point the x-axis straight up and down hold it out at arm's length and just keep it pointed up straight up and down and rotate your body and that's turning the the uh, quadcopter about the x-axis uh, another way to do the y-axis is to set the y-axis up and down and a way to figure that out is to hold the, the quadcopter sideways like this and point the light directly at you and rotate your whole body around and that'll do the y-axis let's do it let's actually do a calibration of this quadcopter to do such you're going to have to bind the quadcopter so I got to put it down the motionless surface let's put it on a flat surface just to be safe Okay, I have the quadcopter on a flat level surface. First thing I'm going to do is turn the quadcopter on. And since we're calibrating gyros, I am going to first press, or actually I'm going to calibrate all of the gyros to show what uh, level is to the, to the uh, system. And to do that, you move and hold both control sticks to the lower left corner for about five seconds. And that calibrates uh, zero position of the quadcopter, level position of the quadcopter. And I'm going to do that again after I calibrate the individual gyros. Uh, and I'll do that shortly. Okay, that has been calibrated for level surface. Now we want to calibrate the x-axis gyro. And to do that, we hold down either this button, or and the y-axis gyro is calibrated by pressing down this button. But you hold it down for a few seconds till you hear a beep. We're going to go, again, we're going to start with the x-axis gyro. Okay, it's ready for calibration. And the way you see that it's ready for calibration is if you pick up the quadcopter, you'll notice the lights are flashing, and this, especially that green light. Now, for the X axis, again, we've got to spin it around this axis, straight up and down, or the longitudinal axis. So just simply hold the quadcopter out at arm's length and point that um, lens, that blinking lens there, directly vertical, and then rotate until it stops blinking. Rotate your body until it stops blinking. And it may take several rotations to do such. And there we go. Okay, the x-axis has been calibrated. It knows this is the x-axis. Now we've got to calibrate the y-axis. So we place the quadcopter down again. And to set the initialization, or initialization of the y-axis, we press down the 60% button and hold it down for a few seconds until you hear the beep. Now again, we're rotating about the lateral axis. 
So the best way to do that is hold it, hold the quad sideways like this at arm's length, and uh, this time point the uh, light directly toward yourself and rotate your body until that light stops blinking. And there we go. So x-axis and y-axis have been calibrated. See, lights stop blinking. Now, final step, final step. You have to turn off the quadcopter and turn it back on. Turn off the transmitter too. And that finalizes the initialization process. Okay. I'm turn it off and on you have to unplug the battery and replug the battery okay the battery has been replugged putting it back on again on a flat level surface and one final step we're going to do is we're going to uh, zero the gyros back to the level surface by simply holding down in the lower left corner for about five seconds so we should be good to go okay I'm turning on my screen let's go do some FPV flying there's what I'm seeing on the screen. Again, it's hard to see in the sunlight. Now, what I wanted to demonstrate today, let's go to a 60%, was headless mode first. We're going to go and point it, well, it remembers this direction. This is the direction it was pointed when, when I activated it. So, activating headless mode by pushing that button. Now, I push forward. That's forward. It still wobbles, going into the wind, pulling back, pushing right, pushing left. Now I'm going to turn it off. Now I want to point the quadcopter that way and activate headless mode. I want to see if it remembers the headless mode direction of that, that way as being forward. So we're activating headless mode pushing forward and yes it does it remembers that direction pulling back pushing forward there's a wind here and it doesn't like the wind in the headless mode coming out of headless mode it doesn't like wind in headless mode it wobbles like crazy in the wind while well, it's in headless mode so even though I calibrated it it doesn't like wind and headless mode. <laughs> Let me show you that again. I'm going to activate the headless mode. See what it, it wobbles in the wind. But it remembers that direction. Pushing left, pushing right, pushing back. So the calibration helped remember the direction it's supposed to be. But boy, that is it wobble in headless mode, in the wind, coming out of headless mode. So I don't re recommend headless mode too much on this quadcopter. Don't rely on that. How about return to home? Let's go off of the forward right position and activate that return to home feature. Doesn't seem to be returning anywhere. <laughs> seems to be flying away. So that doesn't seem to do much. I'm going to 80% here. There's a little this breeze is picking up a little bit. Activating return to home again and see what happens. I'm not touching the buttons. It's not doing anything. So the return to home does not work. I don't know what the, uh, I tried to calibrate it. I did calibrate it. You folks seen me do it. But it doesn't seem to do much for it. Let's turn on the camera. At least get some video. Camera on. So a breeze today. Well, at least the camera is cool in this quadcopter. <laughs> Gotta come down, I'm too high. 
I'm going to 80. And the range in the transmitter seems to be reasonable for control of this. I can see myself on the screen. I don't know if you folks could see. Yeah, you probably can't because of the wind or the uh, sun. Yeah, I'm not too impressed with the screen either, but yeah, I got to come up with some type of uh, means to shade the screen so I can see it better. But see the the image on the screen is a little bit scratchy. Let's let's move that antenna that way to help it. I don't know if you can see that or not. <laughs> okay, that's the calibration procedures for the V686G and a quick demo of its headless mode, which doesn't seem to work very well. I can't remember if I turned the camera off or if that turned it back on again. Let's find out. Hi there. <laughs> One more attempt with headless mode. This is left. That's right. That's left. This is back, pulling back. It remembers the initial heading. It's, it's just that it wobbles in the wind. Pushing right. Pushing left. So, I guess you could use this as a return to home. Let's, let's turn it off and try that. Let's move, send the quadcopter forward right of uh, our base heading, activating headless mode, pushing the stick 180 degrees from where the quadcopter's at. Let's see if it brings it home. Uh, it does, but it does that wobble. I don't know. <laughs> Let me try. Yeah, you know what? That wobble looks really familiar to the, the twist wobble that I see on another quadcopter when you set it in higher rates. Let's try headless mode in low rate. Turning headless mode on. Oh, there goes my battery. Never mind. But that's the flight time you get. I wonder if I'm still recording. <laughs> But that's the calibration procedures. Uh, it didn't seem to help very much. It wobbles. I don't know if that wobbles intentional or not. There's there's another quadcopter out there. I forgot which one it was. I got I, I did a recent review on it though. It's called the. Uh, they had a twist tumble, uh, twist stumble feature. When you go in to anything other than beginner's mode, uh, when you activate the headless mode, it would do this wobble as a means of another acrobatic feature. Uh, I wasn't very impressed with it, but boy, this was act, sure acting like uh, the twist stumble feature on that other quadcopter. But anyways, uh, that's a quick review of calibration procedures of the gyros. Didn't seem to help much though, but uh, this is the WL Toys V686G. The, again, the biggie on this one here is its Wi-Fi capability. You gotta come up with a better screen though, or a better shade so you can see that screen in the sunlight. Um, I'm going to come up with probably a piece of cardboard tubing around this to, to help shade that. And also the camera on this is very good camera. This is a great aerial video bird because of the camera that comes with it. So, Okay, Quadcopter 101, signing out.